I'm wearing an ugly sweater, but our number one side hustle pick for 2020 is beautiful. And we're going to be telling you all about it in today's video. Howdy and welcome to the Laptop Empire Show. I'm your host, Mike Yonda, and this is video two in our Facebook side hustle series. And today, that's what we're talking about, the Facebook side hustle, also known as Facebook ad management. This is our number one rated side hustle for 2020. It takes the cake, beats out all of the other ones. We talked to you about the characteristics of a good side hustle in our last video. And to give you a quick recap of that information, what we're really looking for is something that's high paying, is a low time investment, and something that you can learn and start earning from as soon as possible. And it's for those reasons that Facebook ad management comes in as our number one side hustle going into 2020. Now, before we get into this, do me a favor, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it if you got friends that are gonna be interested in this because you're not gonna wanna miss any of our videos in this series. Today I'm gonna to be telling you about the side hustle, but over the coming weeks, we're gonna be walking you through step-by-step -step how to actually do it. But if you're not patient and you don't want to wait for the videos, it's totally fine. You can go in our description and you can check out our completely free Facebook ad management email course. It'll walk you through everything. And instead of having to wait weeks for the content, it's going to get dripped out to you one day at a time and you're going to have all of it within the week. So let's get into it with the first reason that Facebook ad management is our number one side hustle. All right, so reason number one, Facebook ad management pays incredibly well. Um, we're talking for simple ad campaigns, anywhere between one to $2,000 per month for very easy to manage clients. Uh, the Really, the going rate for Facebook ad management these days is about $1,500 per month. Um, but once you get good at it, you can charge way more just depending on what you're doing. You know, my minimum fee for clients I work with these days at my agency is about $2,000 per month. And I've got clients paying over $4,000 a month for their campaign management, just depending on what they're doing. So very high paying. And even if you're new to this and you're just getting started, landing a client for $1,000 per month is, that's kind of the floor and it's not super difficult to do. If you want to know more about how to land clients and, and that kind of stuff, we're going to be talking about that more this week, uh, the strategies that we use. We've also got some videos here on the channel that you can check out about landing freelance clients. Now, the big thing that comes up when people first hear about how much you can charge for ad management is, are businesses really going to pay me that much money? And the reality is, yeah, they are. <laughs> they really are. Um, I've been able, you know, my agency has topped over $30,000 per month, you know, from our clients. Uh, we have students that are landing clients and, and landing multiple clients. Uh, we had another person join our 5K club, which just means earning over $5,000 from Facebook ad management. We had that happen yesterday. We've got another one that's going to hit it this week. He's about to close the deal and he's going to be in there. We've got students that are landing or that are earning 10 15, $25,000 per month from ad management. So this is very possible because it's an incredibly in demand service, right? Business owners, especially the ones that we recommend you go after first, which are local brick and mortar businesses like gyms, chiropractors, uh, restaurants, retail stores, uh, you know, things of that nature, dentists, um, uh, uh, nail salons, like things that people use all the time anyway, that you can just put out and use a great offer and get them in. I think things that are showing up and using Groupon, right? Those kind of businesses are know that Facebook is going to work really well from them because they see other people doing it. But the problem is they're using the ads wrong. They're maybe using the boost post button or they haven't been able to figure it out for themselves. And so they need help and it's simple, but they don't realize that it feels complicated to them or more likely they just don't have the time to devote to it. A lot of these business owners, they have so much stuff on their plate that creating ads or learning how to create ads just isn't something that they want to spend their time doing. So they're more than willing to pay somebody $1,500 a month to run ads for them and spend another 500 to a thousand dollars on ad spend when they know that they're going to get a much higher ROI on that, that they're going to get repeat customers are going to be able to sell their programs. I mean, just think about a gym who's selling an offer that's at a minimum a hundred dollars a month, but a lot of them are selling these programs that are 250, 
you know, up to a thousand dollars for the front end program and might be 200 to $400 per month. Like it's very easy to get an ROI there. And then even with the smaller offers, those people are going to keep coming back, right? If you get somebody into a restaurant and they love it, then they're going to keep coming back and they're going to tell their friends about it. So there's a big ROI for these business owners and you're taking work off their plate. So they want to hire people. So not only is it high paying, it's in high demand. And these businesses are willing to spend that money to hire you to do this for them. So thing number two, and this is super important, is that it's a low time investment. And so if you're doing this as a side hustle, it means you probably have a full-time job. And so you're looking for something you can make money on the side or do whenever you want. That's why we see a lot of uh, you know, people with full-time jobs, stay-at-home parents that are busy with their kids and got to work during nap times. You know, we see students doing this. Like anybody that just wants to make some cash on the side, this works really well because it doesn't take a lot of work. A single client that's paying you $1,500 a month might only require a couple of hours of work per week, especially if you choose the right clients and you're focusing on those local brick and mortar clients that we mentioned. Other types of clients are going to require a lot more time investment, but they pay about the same. And so one of the things that we always talk about is choosing the right types of clients and don't pick the clients that are very complex and require these big funnel builds. And, you know, uh, you know, when you think about things like selling physical products online, like e-commerce or drop shipping, when you think about uh, online coaches and consultants, things of like that, when you think about business to business clients that may not necessarily like the decision makers in the business might not be on Facebook, or if they are, they're difficult to, to contact. Those aren't necessarily the people that you want to be working with because they're a higher level of difficulty, which means it's going to take more time. You're going to have to keep changing things to figure it out, may or may not have success, and they're not going to pay you anymore. It's not necessarily going to pay you. So, but with these local clients, where it's very simple and you're putting out an offer, like a coupon code, a buy one, get one free offer, some sort of discount, whatever it may be, you're going to put that out there. People are going to convert. It's very easy and it's kind of set it and forget it. You make a post just like you would on your Facebook profile. You put some paid traffic behind it with the ads. It's a very simple three-step process and you let it run. And it's going to spend day after day after day bringing in people that are interested in that offer, that are giving their name, email, phone number to the business you're working for so that those people can come in, claim the offer, spend money with that business, become clients. You know, the business owner can follow up all of that jazz. So if you're picking these simple clients, it's quite literally, you spend a half hour or so setting up the ad, you get it live, and then you just monitor it. You might have to change it once or twice that month, but for the most part, it's just going to run on its own. It's pretty hands off, which is great in a side hustle. It also means that you have scalability, right? That's one of the other reasons we like a low time investment, not just because you don't have a lot of time for a side hustle, but because you want to be able to scale this maybe to replace your income, to leave your job or to build a business that's even more profitable than what you're doing, right? This was a perfect side hustle for me when I was coming out of law school because law school takes a lot of time. Studying for the bar exam takes a lot of time. I was able to spend a minimal amount of time on my business and earn some money to pay off my student loans while I had that going on. And then even when I entered practice and was working as a lawyer, with all the hours I was working, I still had time to do this. And eventually it allowed me to not only pay off over $150,000 in student loans that I had accrued, but it also allowed me to earn more money from this business working less hours than I ever could possibly earn as an attorney, even as a senior partner at a law firm, you know, here down the road. It's incredible. So you have that potential and that ability, that low time investment that allows you to stack a lot of clients, right? And just imagine if you get 10 clients and you're, you know, let's say even that becomes a full-time job for you and you're putting 40 hours, which I don't think it would, that could earn you $15,000 a month. How much better is that than most of the salaries out there for most jobs? So that's why we love that low time investment piece. The third thing is that it's easy to get started and more importantly, to start making money right away. 
you don't want to choose a side hustle that's going to take a long time before you start making money. You know, for example, if you decided to start a blog or a YouTube channel, you know, and build a content based business, you can make money from ads on YouTube, from ads on your blog, sponsorships, affiliate income, all of that kind of stuff. But you have to have the traffic and it takes time. It might be two or three years down the road before your content's generating enough traffic for you to make good money from it, right? But something like this, you can land your first client within 30 days, right? You just have to put in that hustle and go do the client acquisition methods that we're going to teach you here during the Facebook side hustle series. Now, that's not to say that those things aren't good side hustles. You just have to think about what you want. Do you want to start making money now or do you want to build this content empire, build this brand over time? Nothing wrong with that. I'm a big fan of it. That's what I'm doing right here, right? We're building the Laptop Empire's brand. But if you want to make money right now, even if you are a content creator, you're a blogger or a freelancer or, some, or you're a blogger or a YouTube personality or an Instagram influencer, whatever it is, if you want to make some money right now, freelance options are the best way to go. And this is obviously as we've shown from the high pay and the low time investment, one of the best, you know, uh, freelance options out there, but it's a lot easier than you think. And I think that's the big thing. People are like, ah, I don't know what to do. How do I figure this out? I mean, you can figure this entire thing out just by watching YouTube videos if you want it. We've got a ton of videos on this channel walking you through Facebook ads, how to create Facebook ads for clients and all those kind of things. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you check out our other videos because you're going to be able to learn very easily that way. But you've also got this series, which if you're subscribed, you're going to get notifications. You're going to see this whole series. And we're going to talk to you about how to create your funnels for your ads. And the sales funnels are like the mini websites that are very easy to create that you can use to bring clients in. We're gonna teach you how to do that. We're gonna teach you how to create the ads themselves, which if you can post a newsfeed update on your profile, you can say, oh, I caught coffee today, or here's a picture of my dog doing something crazy, whatever. If you can do that, you can create an ad. But we're actually gonna show you how to create these simple lead gen ads in this series. And then once you know how to do these skills, it's just about going out and finding clients, which is another thing we're going to teach you about in the series. And there's a lot of different ways that you, that you can use to find clients online that are completely free. You don't have to run paid traffic for yourself for client acquisition. You can leverage things like Facebook groups, uh, tools like Upwork. You can use things like LinkedIn, your Facebook profile itself, and a whole bunch of other strategies that we're going to discuss to find clients. So it's just about putting that hustle in. and you know, something that comes to mind, Bobby here at Laptop Empire is a big introvert and he does this as well. And I know we have a lot of students that are introverts. And so if you're introverted and you're thinking like, oh, client acquisition sales, scary, it doesn't have to be because a lot of what we're going to teach you, you can hide behind your keyboard and talk to people in Facebook groups or via email and figure it out and land clients, right? You don't have to be a very outgoing, extroverted personality. Okay. So don't worry about that. We've got you covered. So there you have it. Facebook ad management for local brick and mortar businesses is our number one recommendation for side hustles in 2020. It's easy to get started. It is high paying and it is a low time commitment. It checks off all of the boxes that we consider uh, to be the main characteristics that you're looking for in a side hustle, as well as having that ability to scale right? Which is big if you're looking at down the road. So if you're looking for a side hustle, this is one to do. And if you want to know more about it, obviously subscribe and stick around for the rest of our Facebook side hustle series. But if you don't have that kind of patience, you can download our free email course in the description and learn over the next week exactly how to do this with written step-by-steps and video tutorials on how to start doing this side hustle. I hope you found this video helpful. We appreciate you watching it and we'll see you next time.